Oh, my Lord. Mm. What time? It's afternoon, yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everybody's doing well. Well, we woke you up and started you on your day. What more can we ask for? And he kept us covered all night long, dispatched his angels all around us, keeping danger away from us. You know, so we well, got to say thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord God, thank you. Hallelujah, bless you, Jesus, wonderful Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. No one else like him, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your most precious name, Lord, hallelujah. I thank you, I praise you, I lift your name on high, Jesus, because you're worthy, you're worthy of all praise, hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 Jesus. Wonderful, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 He's wonderful through it all, through it all. All the things I've been going through with the falls and stuff, falling, still in pain, still in back pain. One day I felt like I was doing so good yesterday. I guess maybe I moved too fast. but moving around pretty fast in here doing things. And I noticed this morning, it, it's it's um, kind of like in, well, in pretty bad shape. Not not too bad. I still can get around. I still can move. You know, because some, somebody can't get up on their own this morning. Couldn't get up. And some of them can't get up at all anyway. You know, and somebody's sitting somewhere waiting for somebody to help them up. But I had my Lord. He woke me up and started me on my way. I didn't think I would wake up in time for my televisit appointment with my therapist, my mental health therapist. But he got me up a little before eight. My appointment was at nine. I was up. Enough time to take my bath and um take my medications. I didn't eat yet, I like 'cause I don't eat that early. But you know. Uh and probably make me have woozy like I'm I'm kinda like in there. That's because I got muscle relaxer in me right now and pain medication. But um, so I have to back, get this thing back on. It really is down the lower part, down by my hip, you know. But it's okay. Okay, oh, it's all going to be well in Jesus' name, in his name, in his name. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful, wonderful Jesus. Mm. Just love him. Just love him. You don't know what to say to him, just say thank you. Just say hallelujah. I say hallelujah anyhow. You know, you're not sure what he's done for you? Say hallelujah anyhow. He brought you through another night. That's what he's done. He woke you up this morning. He came by and gently woke you up. Told you, come on, it's time to wake up. You know? How can we not serve a God like that? My God, hallelujah. Oh, bless you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. You know? And just, and, um, just, just knowing he's right there with you. Sometimes you go through things. Sometimes it's not always the devil. It's not always the enemy. It's, it's him. He's, he's just trying us out. He's trying to, he tests us too. He do. He know how much we can bear and what we can't bear. You know, he tests us out. And he know that we're going to be okay. He knows. So I'm not giving the devil credit for, for everything that happens to me. You know, whether it's good or bad, I'm not giving him no credit for it. Not always. Because all the time, like I say, it ain't him at all. But there are all those times when it was after one of another, yeah, it is him. I will say it anyway, it's him. I know I look kind of woozy on here right now. That's the medication in me. That's all it is. Because you know I don't drink. I don't do no drugs. You know, I left that alone almost 18 years ago now. You know, so this is, this is just me, this medication and stuff. Cause I couldn't. I had to take it when I when I finally ate after after my um televisit appointment, and that's when I had some breakfast. 
And that's when I took my medication. Cause it's making me kind of sleepy, like I want to go back to sleep. But I've been trying. I'm, I ain't really been sleepy. Just reading a little teeny bit, trying to read anyway. Read my word a little bit. Uh, but anyway, I just stopped by to say hello and hope y'all have a wonderful day. Make it, make it, make it a good day on purpose. Make it one on purpose, cause, cause, cause I will say this, but old Satan, he is sitting around waiting now. He is, he, he is waiting to make his move on you. Especially if you see you sitting there feeling down, stressed, or anything. Oh yeah, he's waiting. He's waiting to have that opening so that he can come in there. But we're going to make him out of a liar today. It's not happening. It's not happening. And anybody going to intervene or intercede is going to be our God. That's it. That's it. That's it. Satan is a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. He always will be. He always will be. So he might as well go ahead and take a chill pill. Rest his nerves today. You know? So, anyway, anyhow, uh, like I say, I have a blessed day on purpose, a fulfilling day. You know? Something that'll make you smile or make somebody else smile, you know? I had that with my therapist this morning. She was laughing and smiling, and so was I. You know. So that was that was that was a good thing. That was a good thing. You know. Well, anyway, I I, I don't know what I'm ready to do now. I've been trying to reach my grandchildren. I ain't getting an answer yet. Maybe they're sleeping. And the rest of my daughter, thank y'all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the prayers. Thank you. She is still in the hospital. She's still there, but I, I called her on video chat this morning, and she's looking good. She's looking good. She really, really do. But sometimes, you know, God does this thing. Because my daughter, she, she runs and races and runs all the time, all the time, never get a break. And I thought about, you know, one thing, this is her break. And like the Spirit just spoke to me and said, you know, that's her break. I had to slow her down. So you had to slow her down so she can get some rest. And that's what she's doing. And she needs that rest. I'm sorry she had to be in the hospital, but she needs that rest. You know? Because she looked very good this morning. And she wanted to thank you all for the prayers. I think she done post about it. Thank you all. We appreciate you all. We love you all. And I just continue, please, and, and and even take time and and, and say one for me, for this old hip was straightened up. <laughs> it, it is. It will. It will. I gotta get out. I, I do have to try and walk outside because I want to go check my mailbox. Um. But anyhow, I put a smile on your face. Also on someone else's too. And just know that I love you. Most of all, Jesus loves you. Now right there is enough for you to put a smile on your face. Knowing Jesus loves you. Alright. Love y'all.